Hello. How has it been to be back on Corrigan and Stamford soil? Well, it's uh, it's been a, well. It's, I'm back quite regularly because my mum, mum and dad still live here, my sister and my brother, so I'm I'm in Stamford quite a bit. But this is, and I'm bear in mind that I've been doing what I do for uh, over 25 years. This is the first time I've ever gigged in Corrigan. First time I've ever done anything. Are you very excited about it? I am a little, well, you know, I mean, if I was ever going to do a gig in Corrigan, I kind of thought that maybe, I don't know, giving out something at Gable Hall or perhaps bothering the jukebox at the Cat Cracker, which isn't even called the Cat Cracker anymore. But no, to be, yes, to be here in Corrigan. I, mean, I am quite, quite happy to be here. And I was brought mum and dad just to keep me on the ground. And just tell us a bit about why you're here, because it's quite exciting for the reason that you're here. Well, um, um, I've, uh, I, have, uh, I have written a book, Reaches for Book, shows book to camera, uh, called Good Morning Nantwich, which is about the five years that I spent uh, as a DJ for BBC Six Music. Uh, and the realisation over those five years that I actually wasn't a DJ. It's a very odd way to find out uh, that you're not good at something. It's by doing it. But I enjoyed it. That was the thing. That's why I did it for five years. Terrific fun. Amazing thing to do. But DJing, it's very, very, particularly doing a show that's five days a week, it's very time intensive. And also, you know, quite rightly so, the people that engage you. Uh, the broadcasters, whoever they may be, you know, they want you around a lot, especially when you're the breakfast DJ. And um, being a DJ meant I had to stop doing loads and loads of other things that that were very much a part of my life, like stand-up comedy. Um, I, I, I appear in musical theatre from time to time. And in fact, if you read the book, you'll, you'll find out that musical theatre was one of the reasons that I left Six Music. So. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's, it's about that really, about a chunk of my life. It's not an autobiography, but it's about, it's about a job that I did for five years and very much enjoyed. Because I was reading a bit about it before I came here and you sort of said it's kind of like a, a love story or it's like an apology. It's a, it's a love letter to radio really. I, I have always had a really beautiful relationship with radio. It's always, always it's my, of all the media, it is my favourite, you know. As much as I love books and newspapers, Right, but radio. There's something about radio. Just it, having it in the background, just that voice. It's just that. I love the way that you can just kind of almost accidentally find yourself sucked into a radio program. And of course, I mean the age. I'm only 48, and so I grew up at a time when you know one broadcaster, certainly to my generation, towered above all the others, which was John Peel, and he was such a massive influence on my life. And I suppose that. You know, and there's others as well, Charlie Gillett, you know, Terry Wogan, um, Tim Westwood, you know, Steve Wright, you know, there's, there's all sorts of broadcasters who've, who've, who've always been there, who've always kind of provided this odd, I, I hesitate to use the term soundtrack, but almost like a, a commentary to, to, to life around you, you know, Jim Nocte on the Today Show. John Humphreys has been a voice in my life for decades, and it's just you, you just you just sort of forget. You forget that 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 you're not really aware of it. And, and what was nice about the book was 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 kind of actualising something that was just a part of my life. Because you are a really funny man, and you're on Thank Never you. Mind the Buzzcocks as yeah, well. Yeah. I used to watch that religiously. Yeah, yeah. So what does the future hold? Are you going to go back into the show? Are you just um, no, no. Well, well, Buzzcocks. We do Buzzcocks over a sort of three month period every year. We record twelve episodes uh, that that do us for the year. Obviously, with satellite TV now, shows get rerun all the time on, on networks like Dave. Mm -hmm. So Buzzcocks is always out there. Uh, but we've just done a, we've just done our twenty fourth series, uh, myself and Noel Fielding with the guest hosts. Can I ask who the best guest was? Uh, the best guest host is definitely Terry Wogan, from my point of view. But that's and I, I with no disrespect to the others that did an excellent job as well. But Terry Wogan, is someone I've grown up with. I think when if you're you know the, the kind of broadcaster of Morgan Wise used to take an account of him. I just he's a he's a real link to to why I got involved in the business really. So, so yeah, that's uh, and I'm seeing it again tomorrow. We're doing uh, we're doing a compilation show. Some of the best cut bits. Uh, we're doing a compilation show, and I'm seeing Terry again tomorrow. So um, you're seeing Terry Wogan tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Can you say Lucy said hello? Of course, cool, so Lucy. Thank I'll, you. I'll, I'll do that for you. And because you're such a funny man, do you have any jokes you could potentially tell? Well, no, 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 there's the funny thing. It's just I think that it's, it's the odd, odd thing about my job is that I've always been absolutely terrible at telling jokes in terms of that kind of ability. I do have a joke that I can tell you and you could rate it out of Excellent. 10 for me. Good. Okay, good. So, why was six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. Okay, you already know that, clearly. <laughs> it's a great joke. But out of 10, what would you give it? What would I give it? You, you have to give it a 10. You can't not give that a 10. I love jokes like that. So you reckon I've got a career in comedy as well? Yes, yes I do. Well, I wish you all the best of luck with, <laughs> with your um, book reading. And I look forward to getting one in my Christmas stocking as well. Because 789. Because 789. Oh, yeah.